Having stated he had no regrets in life, singer Bobby was asked if that extended to instances where his late daughter Bobby Christina might have witnessed his alleged abuse of Whitney. The 49-year-old replied, There were no violent incidents between me and Whitney. You're mistaken. He was then reminded of a police report that stated, Whitney Houston had a one-inch bruise on her cheek and a cut upper lip when officers responded to a call from her home this week. But he remained unrepentant, adding, No, the public record is wrong. Bobby attempted to bring the Q&A to a halt by saying, One more question. Before a TV executive came to his rescue and shut down the event. Earlier Bobby had said that the spirit of Whitney was still at the Beverly Hilton where she d saying, this is the place they chose and the spirit of my ex-wife is probably still here. So it just feels good to be here and to promote this movie. Catherine Jenkins forced to abandon the stage after a sudden downpour while many of us welcomed and seeing some rain over the weekend. Catherine Jenkins and her fans would clearly have preferred it to have stayed away, for one more day at least. A torrential downpour caused havoc during her set at Sino Park, Norfolk. And despite the best efforts of a gentleman with an umbrella it was all to no avail as the 38-year-old took a 30-minute break to dry off before soldering on without an interval so her fans could still get home in good time. Taking to Instagram, the mezzo-soprano posted from her dressing room during the show, one song and then the heavens opened. Just drying off and I'll be back on stage ASAP. Hollywood actress Julia Roberts returns to the small screen for new show Julia Roberts who is pictured flashing her trademark mile-wide smile in California, was busy over the weekend promoting her new TV show Homecoming. But the 50-year-old claims she does not see her return to TV, in the thriller based on Micah Bloomberg and Eli Horowitz's podcast of the same name, as significant. I guess I didn't really think of it as small screen. My television is pretty big. However the Happy Pretty Woman star did admit parts of filming were tough. Big screen, she said. I don't know. It was a great mental challenge every day, she admitted. Poor Len. All is forgiven now says Sue Pollard it might have taken more than three decades but Sue Pollard has forgiven Diana Ross for depriving her of her own chart-topping hit. The 68-year-old says, chain reaction by Diana Ross kept my single starting together off number one in 1986 but I've forgiven her now. The high T high actress's song peaked at number two. Starting Together was her theme song for BBC documentary The Marriage. Sue is now preparing to star in the play Harpy about a hoarder's relationship with suspicious neighbours, which runs at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival from August 2nd to 28. Written by Fringe First Award winner Philip Meeks and directed by Hannah Chisick it will be Sue's debut at the world's largest arts festival. How Robert laughed off the bullies peep show actor Robert Webb credits playground bullies for his career in comedy, not wanting to get on the wrong end of their taunts or fists he made them laugh instead. What saved me from being bullied was that I was always funny. I would do impressions of teachers and I would make up lyrics of pop songs, the 45-year-old told Day and Night at the Port Elliot Festival in Cornwall where he was promoting his memoir How Not to Be a Boy. He cast himself as the lead role but then he got appendicitis so I took over. He added, when I was 13 I was in a play written by a friend and then I thought, I could do this for a job. I thought, I quite like this. 